NCRE Solutions Chapter Number Five Arithmetic Progressions, Exercise Five Point Two, Question Number Seventeen. The problem is find the twentieth term from the last term of the AP three eight thirteen and so on, and this AP goes till two fifty three. So the AP given here is three eight thirteen and so on, and we need to find the twentieth term from the last term. So basically, we can start this problem by writing this. AP in an opposite order. For example, if I write this AP like that, then I can start solving it. Now I need to find the twentieth term of this AP in other words. But I need to have few information. I need to have some information here in order to find the twentieth term. For example, the first term of this AP. Is equal to a is equal to two fifty three, and the common difference of this AP is equal to the difference between any two consecutive terms here. It's eight and three. For example, it's three minus eight. It's equal to minus five. Now we can use formula to find the nth term, and the formula is a n equal to a plus n minus one times t because we need to find the twentieth term. So n is equal to twenty here. So a is known to us, and it's two fifty three, and n is known to us. It's twenty minus one times d. D is minus five here. So we get here two fifty three plus nineteen times minus five. So nineteen times five is ninety five. So it's two fifty three minus ninety five equal to now two fifty three minus ninety five here. It's one fifty. Eight here, so the twentieth term of this AP is equal to one fifty eight, which is equal to the twentieth term from the last term of this AP. So that solution, so twentieth term is equal to one fifty eight, which is the twentieth term from the last term of this AP, and it is equal to one fifty eight. And the next video, I'll be covering chapter five, arithmetic progressions, exercise five point two. Problem number eighteen. See you guys.